P90X Plus. Hey guys, Jason Croxford here, and I just completed my uh, first first time through Interval X and Ad Core Plus. Really, uh, again, kind of like my my review, I guess, with the yeah, total body is it's ridiculous. It's it's a whole up bunch of uh, different moves that really you're not used to. So I mean, it is it really challenges you. Like I, I felt challenged. You know, I just completed P90X and this stuff's kicking my butt. It's uh, it's literally it's it's one workout to the next. It's really no break, especially with interval X. Um, so far, I'm going to say this: out of all of my P90X and now my Plus journey, interval X is really one of my all-time favorite cardios so far. It's uh, it's strictly cardio. It is just basically three sets. You know, each set you do, you do three variations. It starts out just easy, then builds up to a medium, and then goes to pretty intense. And you do this. You've got like a whole bunch of moves you do, and then you repeat it again by reverse order. So it challenges you, and it is pretty hardcore. Literally, like you, you go so easy, then you go on medium, and then you go hard, and as soon as you've done that hard, you start right on the next set, and you start out easy. So you kind of cool down, but you're still moving. Uh, it's, it's pretty intense, so you know, it keeps you going. There's a lot of cool new moves. And uh, you know, I really enjoyed Interval X. I did Abcore Plus for my first time, and that one is just completely different. It's not something that I expected, really. It's, you know, I didn't get quite the same ab core burn that I get from uh, Ab Rubber X, but it, I really think over time, once I get used to the moves, that is something that would really work. It's different. It's it's a whole different challenge. It's not Ab Rubber X. It's not focused core moves. You're not on the floor the whole time. You know, you're hanging on your bar doing some moves, and you're doing you know some stuff on the floor. You're doing some weird standing things, and uh, it just kind of mixes everything all together. So, you know, I, I kind of like it. It's different. And I think it will take some getting used to, but it's uh, you know it's it's weird. It, it's kind of cool, some different moves, and you know I, I think it's something that would be cool for anybody to try after P90X. It definitely throws some variety, and that's the biggest thing I've noticed so far with the uh, P90X Plus routines is they're all different. It's not P90X. It's it's a lot different. It's different moves. It's kind of a different approach. It's faster. Usually your workouts around 45 minutes because. It seems to condense your moves back to back instead of giving you those little rests in between the P90X where you usually you know you get transition times between set and uh, between sets and now it's it's pretty much back to back and I kind of like that it's fast like you can get on interval X and whip that out between warm up and everything and be done in 45 minutes and you're you're good to go and you sure as heck got a good workout out of it so you know my heart rate is pretty high and it was an hour workout so an hour total I just did a whole cardio plus an ab core. And uh, you know the app core is pretty cool. I actually think I found a new challenge too. I, I put up a response to Chris's Mason Twist challenge, and t during the uh, app core plus, we did a new Mason Twist, which uh, kicked my butt. You know, I only did about five reps of it, but basically you're laying on your back in banana, and then you uh, you go into Mason Twist. So you're pretty much you know you're, you're laying. If anybody's done banana, you're kind of laying on your back with your arms up, your your legs up. Pretty much it's just like your butt and some of your back is on the floor, and then you, you sit right up into a mason twist stance, and then you do four taps, and then you go back right back into banana. It's pretty tough, so it, it's gonna take some getting used to, but that's kind of my review so far of the P90X Plus stuff so far, guys. It's, it's different, it's a whole new variety of moves, it's faster paced, and it really will it'll work even after getting done P90X, so check it out, really, if you wanna have some variety after P90X, if you wanna stay in P90, uh, try some variations. It's, it's a different approach, but it'll take some getting used to. But once you do, I think you'll like it. And uh, you know, it's kind of growing on me so far. I've been messing around with it this week while I wait for Shaleen. But tomorrow, this is an update. Tomorrow, I get my Select Tech Bowflex weights, and those are are coming, or I'm going to go pick them up around 10 tomorrow morning. So that's awesome. I'm so so excited to get those. I'm going to give you a quick preview of them. I'll do a little recording for anybody that doesn't know what they are or is kind of curious how they work. Uh, I will show them to you. But if you don't know what they are, they're pretty much one set of dumbbells with little crank dials on each end and it allows you to adjust from 5 to 52 and a half pounds. So it's really cool. One set of dumbbells you can adjust and different plates come out when you lift it. It's, it's pretty, pretty intense, pretty cool uh, mechanics. It, it, it's cool. I, I looked at it so far and, and tried it out and I'm going to go pick it up. I actually managed to get a pretty good deal on it locally. So I'm going to get those tomorrow. I'll show you how they go. But this has been Better Body 90 and check out you know, some of my upcoming videos here. I'll be starting Shaleen. Uh, we're coming right up soon here, so expect a lot of videos on my journey through that. I'll be talking to you guys later. Take care. Next time.